So just got down here to uh, Joseph Fazio's steel machine. This is the steel yard, very well-known place in the uh, low rider circles here in Jersey. This is all from Glassboro, Cross Keys Road in Glassboro, New Jersey. This place is like a uh, candy store for kids. If you do any kind of fabrication or pretty much like anything, like any kind of industrial type work. Hopefully they don't have a problem with me filming. Ooh, what we got here? Big old Lincoln Ranger 8. Is it okay if I take a little video while I'm in here? One of my buddies wants to see like what kind of stuff you guys have or like, thank you, appreciate it. Thanks, sir. I haven't been in this place in twenty one years, I think. It's like a quality version of uh, Harbor Freight with uh, raw steel, like a steel mill, literally right next door. I'm here to pick up the uh, materials for the battery rack for the hydraulics in Monte Carlo. We got some random aisles, Ooh, stamp kit, little individual stamps. Definitely find some use for them. Woodruff keys. I love the layout in this place. It's just like everything is accessible. You can touch things, use tools, new tools. Looks like all apparel stuff, gloves and whatnot. Got some chemicals. All types of fasteners, like pretty much anything you can think of. Like if you have any kind of project you're working on that involves metal or, you know, something structural, they got it here. They have a lot of uh, new old stock stuff too. Well, I guess they do buyouts of, uh, you know, companies that go out of business or discontinue certain stuff. They buy everything and sell it at a crazy cheap. Look at these things. A dollar a piece. Welding clamps. That's a little high. 25 bucks for, what is it, six inch clamp? All types of electrical connectors, 10 cents a piece. Like where are you gonna find like these kind of connectors where you can just buy whatever quantity you want, like even one, it's freaking awesome. They're closing in an hour, so I'm probably gonna have to cut this a little short so I can at least give them my cut list. I'm just buying a bunch of two by two box and uh, probably one and a half by one and a half angle. Maybe some threaded rod and flat bar. Transformers, all types of different clevis brackets, chain, it's like fluorescent ballast, all kinds of electrical connectors, bulbs, extension cord connections, switches, capacitors. Wire nuts. <laughs> Man, you could probably flip some stuff out of here, actually, like on eBay or whatever, <clears throat> with some of the prices we have. <laughs> Air 
air fittings, compressor quick locks, copper elbows, blow guns, five bucks, tow hitches. And like I said, they have new and used stuff here. You got welding rod, three bucks for a pack. That's like awesome. And it's not like you have to buy like, you know, wholesale amounts. There's no like minimum order quantities. For the steel, they'll cut it for you on the spot. You got TIG welding cups, tips. I'm sure you got electrodes somewhere here. It reminds me, I gotta get an argon bottle. All different types of screws, everything from stainless to zinc, probably brass as well. Self tappers. These are nice. The built-in washer. I think that's a fiber washer. Yeah. Four dollars a pound. Ooh, regulators. I'm gonna need these too. Once I get that bottle. All right, so you get the general idea. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this now so I can give them my cut list. Abrasive stuff. This place is fantastic. Some carrier bearings. Roller bearings. Definitely find something to use these for. All different sizes too. Hmm. Forge too, wow. Made in India. Looking for bullet shell casings. This is definitely the place to be if you have something here uh, or an idea that you're trying to bring to fruition. New joints. New tools over here. Yeah, it's so cheap. Two fifty for a whole saw, and they're USA made. Wow. Might as well grab one. It's gonna be a common uh, size. It's been in the install. Yeah, I already got that guy. Full salt bits, one and a quarter, two, two and a quarter, two dollars each, or three for five. Damn, they come with a bit and everything on them already. Two ways. Allergies are driving me nuts. It's just a breaker bar, I guess. Yeah. Ten bucks. Three quarter inch. Impact sockets, 25 bucks. Cool thing is they have a lot of made in USA stuff here, so. Different router bits, 
grinding stones. We got plenty of abrasive stuff at the house or at the shop, I should say. Three twenty. That's not bad for a cap. I mean, for a die. cabinet here full of uh, machine accessories like these are all cutters for uh, a week $7.75 metric taps in mills mill. all kinds of dies, reamers, bit holders They do actually have a website, so I uh, just looked at it for the first time today. I think you can actually order some stuff, at least online. It looks like a bike chain, but it'll go with large bike. Some tongs for, uh, I guess you could use that for like um, a forging setup. Or like a forge, I would say, for picking up the crucible. Some turn brass pieces. Little bombs, I don't know, I guess brass. Yeah, brass. Let me charge by the the metal side. And this is like the wall showing samples of materials they have. Just like this is just flat bar, literally. They have way more than this, like all kinds of shapes. Different profiles. Stuff. Yeah, wrought iron, plastic sheet, like four foot by eight foot stuff. Um, they got drops, like uh, stuff that's been cut off of a 20 footer. So they sell all the materials, mostly materials, I believe, in uh, five foot, 10 foot, and 20 foot. So I just bought four two by two by eight inch and four two by two by eight inch box tubes, angle and box tube for 169. So 20 feet of each for 169 bucks, which is I'm not, too, not even sure if that's like good these days or not. Cause I know the, uh, oh, this is the wrong side. So all this was 169 for 20 feet of two by two by eight inch angle and 30, this one is six times four, 24 feet of two by two by eight inch. 70. Not bad. So this is what I ended up getting from the store uh, where all the new old stock stuff is for $15.46. Uh, let's see what we got here. We got our one and three quarter inch hole saw. Turn the air off. We got four of these grommets, which we'll be using for running the uh, hydraulic hoses from the front to the uh, trunk. 20 T-nuts, quarter inch and number 632. Figure I'll use these for something eventually, probably something for the system, for the stereo. Uh, some assorted connectors, you know, like uh, these are probably fit 14 gauge or maybe even 12 or 16 no 16 14 probably 12 gauges will fit for the amps so i got a bunch of those probably like 10 of each each type the butt connectors uh this is like what they call butyl tape it's basically like a strip like probably two and a half inches three inches wide of butyl rubber like this gooey black stuff you uh have on like behind your door panels that holds that you know uh the plastic sheeting that keeps the water out of your door panels. Yeah, this is that material. Same stuff they use to install windshields, I believe. Uh, two packs of these. 
12 gauge like speed uh, speaker terminal flight connectors good size ones 50 cents for this bag here i got two bags of those then can of primer brand new it's a little beat up you know obviously probably something that's been that was cosmetically damaged if you drop the price on two bucks for primer you can't beat that uh two bucks for a can of all metal prep and cleaning polish can't beat that either then over on the other side in the steel side unfortunately my phone ended up dying i got initially i bought uh what was it 24 feet of two by two by eighth inch box tubing and realized that i bought twice as much as i actually meant to buy and returned two of them and i also got 20 feet of two by two uh, by eighth inch wall angle and they only had that in five footers it could have cut me some six foot pieces from the 20 footers but it was so close to closing time and i was like rushing to get there i just had to give me four instead of the three uh six footers four or five footers instead but anyway that came out to 100 bucks 100 bucks plus tax after i returned the two uh lengths of box tubing that box tubing is actually pretty damn expensive i mean you're talking 30 bucks a piece for six footers and it was 10 bucks a piece for the uh the two by two angle which isn't you know that's reasonable but yeah that box tubing is expensive man for six footers so yeah it's been 100 bucks i got almost all the steel that i need for the battery rack and uh everything else that i have i have pretty much in scrap parts at home or at the shop so if you're ever in the area uh, it's 2647 Glassboro Cross Keys Road in Glassboro, New Jersey. Joseph Fazio's. And they have, they've added, I haven't been here in 20 years, they've added so much to this place. Like it used to just be like the steel place and like the industrial store that I was in earlier. But now they have this whole other section of like pre-cut and all types of different, anything, any kind of profile or shape or structural steel you can imagine steel aluminum brass like everything like they have like 10 inch diameter three inch wall carbon steel pipe in there it's crazy and then next door now they've added this gigantic like basically harbor freight type store with better quality stuff like huge 20 foot tall um pallet racks of like just for like the welding aisle on both sides filled to the top and bottom they rent out gas cylinders, uh, like for welding and torches and CO2. Like, it's, this place is amazing. You could be in here literally all day long. So I'm coming back probably uh, either Saturday or Monday. I'll try to get a better video, but I'm gonna spend some time in here because there's just like so much to see. Like, you'll just be here all day, like looking at stuff and thinking of projects. Anyway, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to follow the progress of the Monte Carlo. Peace.